Brian, come on in. Good to see you. Ralph, how are you, man? Good, good. How is the sports season going? Oh, good. It's going, man. Yeah. How are Mary and the boys? Excellent. No complaints. Good. And the sun is out today, so everything seems to be going good. So listen, it's time for your annual review. And pretty much everything has been good. Uh, the sports coverage, <clears throat> athletes of the week, the all RJ teams. Listen, we are the local um, leader in sports coverage. But there is one thing. What's that? The openings of the Athletes of the Week show. We've had some complaints. From who? Let's see here. Well, for starters, from Saturday Night Live and all of the That's original cast. Writers. Even Dan Aykroyd? Well, he cuts you slack because he's a, you're a fan of the tragically hip but he says the Coneheads are off limits. Okay, I, I, can, I can buy that. A number of movie producers have complained. Oh. Animal House, Apocalypse Now, The Godfather, Parts 1, 2, and if possible, 3. Yeah. <laughs> Good fellas. <clears throat> Although Scorsese said he did like the screenplay. Yeah? Did he leave a callback number? Field of Dreams, Napoleon Dynamite, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Where the Buffaloes Roam, Jaws, Pulp Fiction. I'm worried about Pulp Fiction. They called me several times and the last time they said they were about to get medieval on you. Oh, that good. Thelma and Louise, A League of Their Own. A League of Their Own? A League of Their Own? I haven't even done that one yet. What are you going to do? Dress up like Jimmy Dugan? <laughs> no, actually my son Danny is. I'm, I'm going to play Evelyn. That reminds me. Your wife Colleen called. She said she's noticed you're binge watching Jaws again, and under no circumstances is your son Danny allowed to play Quinn. Oh, come on! It's a role of a lifetime. The kid has been practicing. You got city hands, Mr. Hooper. You've been counting money all your life. Yes, there's more. It's a wonderful life in Casablanca. Actually, Casablanca had no problem with Abby Murphy as Lauren Bacall. They loved her. Your Humphrey Bogart was another story. And I'm afraid the problem, Brian, is it's your acting. They all said it's terrible. Simply an affront to the craft. And I'm afraid I agree. We're going to have to pull the plug on the Athletes of the Week show. You can't do that. I, 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 I gotta be Senator Corleone. Governor Corleone, you gotta give me more time, Michael. I'm afraid it's over, Brian. Over? Did you say over? Nothing is over until we say it is! I'm sorry, Brian. <laughs> I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bum, which is what I am. Let's face it, John. Acting! It's time for Record Journal Athlete of the Week. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you may happen to be tuning in. I am Brian Carpenter, sports editor of the Meriden Record Journal, and welcome to the final edition of Winter Athletes of the Week. Everything is in the books for the Athlete of the Week winter season. We have our final cast of winners from the previous week, the Lyman Hall sweep with Mr. Chance DiCrescenzo and Miss Brooke Dennis. And in our final week, it was the M&M Show with Joe Mazzarella from Southington and Gracie Massacott from Maloney and Aaron and I here are shooting here on Tuesday, as you can see by the gloom and the cold. I got my gloves on again. We're shooting on a Tuesday, and we want to wish Gracie Mascott and the Lady Spartans good luck tonight in their Class L first round basketball game against the Vikings of East Lyme. We'll see how they make out at this point. You know, we just had one winner last night with the Southington Lady Knights. We want our teams to go far, 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 far down the line here in the winter season, though spring can't get here soon enough. All right, listen, we want to thank you folks very much for voting in the winter season. Helped us get through a very cold January and an up-and-down February. We want to tip our cap to 
the Sheehan girls and Lyman Hall boys indoor track teams, Class M champions. What a night that was down in New Haven for you and Sean Aaron covering that. Also want to tip our cap once, twice to Miss Bria Benigni of Maloney Indoor Track winning that program's first state open championship in the three I'm sorry, uh, Bria, in the 1,000 meters, see, I expect you to do well in the 3,200 and the 1,600, which you do. She is state open champion in the 1,000 meters. Look forward to seeing Bria run on much warmer days in the spring. Also, at this juncture, girls basketball tournament started. The boys follow next week, and we're also looking forward to the hockey tournament. SEC semis are this Thursday. Lyman Hall, Sheehan, looking forward to those guys, both in the conference tournament and in the state tournament. Aaron, I've got a, fi- I've got a real good feeling that our cold, cold nights here in the winter aren't over because we're going to be in some hockey rinks in the weeks to come. We shall see. It's been a pretty good winter season, and everything is coming to a culmination. Also want to acknowledge our two class wrestling champions, Caden Talento of Platt and Mr. Benjamin Gore of Southington. Ben was a 100-match winner for his career. Tremendous career at Southington High School for Ben Gore. We wish him luck in the future. On that note, hey, a, a big thank you to Executive Editor Ralph Tomaselli from the Record Journal for agreeing to do the cold opening with us. He um, didn't seem to be too disturbed by the multiple takes we had to do, Aaron, because we're so particular and picky and pernicious in getting things right. We hope we're getting it right here in the Record Journal Sports Department. We'll be back in the spring, probably about the middle of April, to get the spring season of Athletes of the Week rolling. Until then, I am Brian Carpenter, sports editor of the American Record Journal. My best to my man, Aaron Flom, who was in Florida last week, so he is twice as frozen as he should be right now. My man, Shawnee Crossick, Ron Buck. Robert Gulo, Brendan O'Sullivan, and Mr. Kevin Arnold on the Hockey Beat for us, all out there doing good work. We appreciate you folks watching. We'll catch you on a nice warmer day in April. Be good. 